Right, what have we got today? It is a real what better day. So listen to this. Boosh, right, a huge one today. Back on the precision drivers again. So another quick review, and I'll try to make it quick, I promise this time, of the Jackamy or Jakamy, however you want to pronounce that. I think it's Jackamy. So I'll show you on the back here. That is the, I've had a look on the website and they do loads of different things. And the reason I went for this was because I wanted something different. One of the last reviews I did was something different on the lollipop driver. It was just, I'm getting sick of the same old things. I mean, I've looked at the, the, the usual form factor of sort of precision drivers. This was something a little bit different. It looked a bit more boutique. It isn't, it's a very cheap device, but it was just something a little bit interesting and different to stick on the desk there. And there's your usual crappy ones that you'll get from the dollar store and things like that. But if you're looking for something different, I went and had a look at this. And this is the Jagami GM-8 one nine two so that's the model number and as you can see you get i mean it's got hex hex bits um uh, are they hex bits i don't think they are, are they? yeah i uh, if i remember rightly it's got some nut drivers i will go over them i mean normally i go over every single little bit but in this instance because there's so many there's a profusion of them what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you them so you've got your h's there so Let's go in there. So there, there you go. So you've got your yeah, H bits 28. Uh, now they're all precision drivers. So it's like your four mil and not the quarter inch, which is the bigger one. So if you look at this one, this this is like your, your standard sort of quarter inch hex bits. And then you've got the, the heads there. So this driver will be for precision work, but it's got loads of different heads. It's unbelievable. So you've got your socket ones, which I was talking about there for your um, nut drivers, basically. And then you've got these ones here. Now, here's the interesting thing. It doesn't say this here, or does it in tiny little text? No. Um, all of these ones are CLV, in other words, chrome uh, vanadium. Um, the, the difference is when, when it comes to these socket bits and these uh, four bits here, so there are two different sizes of this and two different sizes of the slot. Those are... Well, I claim in any way that the, those are in S2 steel. So there's the differentiation between these two sections. So you've got the S2 here and the CRV here. So just to let you know, uh, but I will cover that. And then you've got some little extra bits there. So you've got all of these bits here. I've done this in 4K, so you should be able to read that. I mean, lots of different bits, even ones I've never heard of. I mean, OWL generally, yeah, it kind of is, but it's kind of used like it's a SIM ejection tool and things like that, although it does say SIM 0, 1 and 2. It's got ones I've never even heard of. Um, I mean, look at some of these. You've got NPH2, never heard of that. Triangle, yeah. Um, I don't know if that's posy, we'll have a look. Uh, the U's, that's the little two bits that, that rotate and there's little two there. Um, hexes and slots and all sorts very very interesting so like I say I went for this because it was something a bit different so look at that already on the box it looks different so let's get out the box I put it back exactly how it arrived so put this in and then that comes out of here there and then get rid of the box so whoosh, get rid of that right here's the item here so very you could argue it's quite large but it's not really look if you compare it to that but it is obviously height wise so if you compare it to that last one that i looked at almost double the height extremely interesting look at that to me that almost looks like something of like a container of starfield or something like that uh, for those who don't play uh, computer games uh, starfield is like a it's set in the future space exploration um, it's certainly not like cyberpunk, but it's just the aesthetic. It almost looks like almost something you would see on a Japanese anime or something like that. So I like the look. Now the opening mechanism, it's a, it's a two-stage thing. So there are magnets in the actual case itself, but there's this here, which is magnetic look. So what you do is you just flip it out the way and then it will open. You can flip it that way or that way and it makes like a click sound. So how that mechanism is actually working, it's just magnets. So that's all it is, it's very simple, and it's just the magnets there. So, boom, there you go. So that helps keep it shut, left or right, doesn't matter, and then this will open. So, you'll notice that there are magnets in here as well. So magnets there at the cardinal corners there, same here. So that keeps it shut. So you've got magnets keeping it shut and this mechanism latching over the top as well. So very interesting, although I don't know if I'd throw this in a bag, if you do that and throw it in a bag, would that be enough? If you get bashed, probably not. Although those magnets are pretty strong. I'm quite happy with them. Listen, they're quite strong and large. So they've done a decent job. So pop that to the side. Right, let's see what you get here. 
I'll try and fit this all into the frame actually, there you go. So look at all of that, you get loads. So you've got all the bits, I'll quickly go over them. Um, you've got your bits here, and then I'll, I'll show you the individual bits. You've got some tools here, so you've got five of these. You've got, I think these are called a super slim opening tool. So you would use these for certain electronics or get prying into certain items, getting into mobile phones and things like that. So that's a very thin look. See how thin that is? In fact, you could play a bass guitar with that. Play a bit of, uh, you know, Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. So you've got those, you get five of those, which is nice. Pop that in there. Then in other, in regards to other tools, you've got, I suppose these are called a spudger. I've always called them a spudger anyway. If I can take it out, so you get two of them. And they, again, they're just like a pry tool, basically. I used this a little bit, you can see I've knackered it a little bit, but I just wanted to try, I've tried most of the things out. Um, I haven't tried that end, that looks pretty good. These little bits of marks and things, and what this is, there's a little bit of oil added to this, which I like, I prefer to see that, you know, that's not a problem. Although they are claiming that most of their heads here have a zinc phosphate coating. So in other words, they are cor corrosion resistant, not corrosion proof. If you leave these in the water and stuff, they're gonna end up knackered eventually. But they're CRV, well, the majority of them are CRV, and then have this zinc phosphate coating, which is, it is, it does prevent rust. So there's a little spudger. So you get a couple of spudgers if you happen to need them. So pop that in there. There's your handle, which I'll show you in a moment with the bits. You get a little suction thing. That's for taking screens off and backs and things like that. Yeah, it kind of works. I tried it on the window and I tried it on the back of a, uh, an external hard drive and things. Yes, it works fine. It's not one of these crappy ones. It's, it's quite nice and pliable. Then you get your two tweezers. So you get a, if I remember rightly, you get a curved and a straight. So if I can take that out, it might help. Take that out. And then we'll use it to take that out. This is difficult because I'm behind the camera, so my angled leverage is poor here. Okay, that's very poor. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm behind the camera and it, it's easier, you don't actually have to do that. I'm just, because I'm like on top of the camera here. So again, the oil's gone back on here, but I had a quick look at this. Very, very sharp look. See that? Really sharp. Now I did notice, if you look at the head closest towards the camera here, see there's a slight defect. I will, I will alter that and change it, but you, I wanted to leave that so I could show you that. There, see it? It's technically like a, a bent over burr. Um, you can feel it. I was able to feel it on my skin. Watch, there. See it scratching. There. So I will fix that. That's easily fixed. Um, I've got a little. Uh, where is it? I'll just use one of my little wet stones or something like that. But I wanted to leave that just to show you. So there's a few little defects here and there, but they're not, you know, horrific. So let's have a close look at that. Yeah, you see how I've bent that back over? So it's more of a burr than anything else. So easily fixable, but very, very sharp. And nice and long. I like the length of these, so you can actually get into places. I appreciate that. Pop that to one side. And here's the curved one. This looked a bit weird. It looked like a dog had been chewing on it, um, but okay, it, it's fine. And let's have a close look on that. Pretty decent, but if I remember rightly, no, no, uh, this one was okay. This was a, it was a tweezer man or German manufacturer I was looking at for something else, another review I'm doing, but it was okay and it picked stuff up. Very sharp again though, but pretty nice. And again, nice and long so you can get into things. I hate ones where they give you tiny little tweezers and you're still mucking about. So pop that back on. This is fine. This just keeps these from getting knocked over. Again, I don't know what happened here. It looks like you know the guy in the factory. Maybe it's the night watchman came in with his with his uh, guard dog, and the guard dog had to go with that. I don't know. Get rid of that. Right. You've got some normal opening tools. These are not the ultra thin ones like those. These are just normal ones. Lots of different angles and stuff and ways you can attack things to get them open. I appreciate that. And you get multiple ones. And it tells you they're open. Just in case you're an idiot and you don't know what that what that means. Okay, get that back in there. Boosh. Yeah, you're supposed to slide it in. There, I'm being an idiot. Okay, so let's look at the driver and the bit. So here's the driver. Now, it's actually quite nice. Let's get a nice close-up. So it's completely rubberized. So you see that? So it's rubberized all the way around. You have this raised rubberized section. Then you have a magnet here, which helps it steer it put. So that's, that's there by magnetism. It doesn't move. So that's quite a nice feature. You can also, I've actually used that when I was uh, building a PC. I used that to stick on the side of the case. So I had that stuck on the side of the case, busy, use it, busy, stick it back. I like that feature. Um, it also has a hex here. So what you can do is, 
if you wanted to, and you wanted to use it in that manner, you could say, right, I need to do a little bit, I need to get a bit of extra torque. You can use it like that, although it's a straight shaft. It's a straight hole, I should say. So watch. It doesn't, it has no retention of any kind, watch. So yes, it works, but bear in mind, that's plastic, this is metal. How long is that gonna last? I don't know, and uh, there's no retention there, but as a last ditch sort of thing, yes, it can be used like that. But there's a little bit of play, watch. That's quite a substantial amount of play, look. Rotating that way, rotating the other way. So I feel like this has been a second thought. If all that I do was push fit a, a metal section into there and it would have been a much better setup. Um, Cause this is, it's slightly top heavy anyway, due to this mechanism. But anyway, okay, that's what they've chosen to do. So we'll pop that back, that nut driver. Okay, so having a look at this, looking at the top, you then have the section here with the magnet in for the bits. So let's say you want to use a bit. Here is a, and these are stamped which I love a stamped one. I don't like the ones where they put the little words on and they come off rubbish. And it tells you exactly. So GM, so you know it's a Jackamy. Then it is a CRV, that's your material, excellent. And it's a T9, straightforward. I like that, they've made an effort. They haven't just slapped on a, a daft font and said, right, just say T9, that'll do. T9 as in talks. And look, it's the security ones, brilliant. So if they've got that annoying little thing in the middle, it'll still work. So bitwise, four mil precision. So they go straight in, boom. And quite a strong magnet look. I'll show you there. It goes straight in and it, it doesn't come out. It will obviously if you pull hard enough, but as to, to get it out, but it's quite nice. There's very little play, watch. Very, very little play. So quite nice build. Feels nice to use. This rubberized is nice. Now here comes the interesting bit. What's this for? I thought as is you get with the PB Swiss Tools ratcheting screwdriver here. So let's say you want to, you know, you work one handed and ratchet. You've got that ability there. Okay, now here's the problem. So you can go normal and then like that. So a ratcheting screwdriver is excellent. That's not what this is for, even though there is an adjustable button here. So it's in that position, then the middle and then the bottom position. That does nothing. It doesn't actually attach to anything. So if you take this off, you'll notice it's exactly the same as if you remember the opening mechanism, it's using magnets. So I'm thinking, right, I must be missing something here. This must be a ratcheting screwdriver. Why would I have three positions that do nothing? What's the point of that? So I went to the website and I thought, let's look up and see what this is. Now, I'm gonna read out the description from the website, okay? So tell me if you understand this, right? Maybe I'm a thick idiot and I don't understand it, but this is what they say. In explanation of this, they are saying Gospels for restless person, full stop, easy decompression by pushing and pulling the booster back and forth to produce a crisp crackle sound. Now that sounds like a cross between, I don't know, a Bible verse, a, a, you know, a, an advertisement for Rice Krispies and someone on drugs. I don't know what's going on there. I th here's what I think's happening. I think what the mean is, that's for people who like to fiddle a lot. I think that's what they mean. Comments down below, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it hasn't got anything to do with LSD or anything like that, I don't know. But what is the point of that? Anyway, it's there if you want it, whatever the hell it's for. I would actually get rid of that and use that for screws, personally. So you stick your screws on there, bang, 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 right, get the next one off, bang, bang, bang. That would be more use for me than going, oh, the crispy crackle, I can't believe the crispy crackle of Captain Crunch or whatever the hell they're on, but I don't know. Anyway, moving on, try and keep this quick. Bits wise, very impressed with them. They're all even down to the tiniest one here. So this is a T, let's have a look, I shall find it. This is a T6, so very small, look compared to my finger there, T6 extremely small but they've still bothered to make it a security one normally on a lot of these cheap sets they will say right down to the down to sort of t9 and below we'll do, stop making them like that because it's harder to make and, and keep the quality there brilliant let's get a nice close-up of that in 4k there it is all the bits I've been extremely happy with. The, the whole fit and finish is actually pretty good. Quality control is there. There wasn't anything that I picked up and thought, my God, what the hell is going on here? So we'll go through some of the bits. I'll try and show you them. So we have, what do we got here? 
So this is, uh, this is a JM, so it's a DR10, whatever the hell a DR10 is. Now let's get a close look at that. I don't even know what that is. I've never heard of it. I don't even know what that is. You see the head there? Let's there, get it to focus. A DR10, never even heard of that. So you've got stuff I've never even heard of. And then there's a bigger version of that. It almost looks like a security uh, screw or I don't know what the hell that is. If you know in the comments section, let me know. It's not something I've ever used. DR. Okay, that's a DR. What's this one? That's a DR7. So, okay, you've got your DRs, whatever the hell they are. Then you have... What are these? Now, I don't know what that... Again, I don't know what that is. That looks like a screw extractor to me, but that's probably not something I'd use on a precision... Uh, but hey, maybe it's got a, so let's see what they're actually terming this as. E EX8, I presume that means extract, extractor or extraction. It looks like it. So you, you force that in, you grind it out and then force that in and then it allows you to take it out with the extractor. Okay, fair enough. And then you've got some interesting ones there, larger ones of the extractor. And then you have, that's an interesting one. What are they calling this? This is a YP and it's the 4.5. Look at that. That almost looks like the uh, the muzzle brake on some sort of exotic carbine or something. I don't know what what's going on there. Okay. Never seen a three pinner like that. I've seen the two pinners, the wing version. So, okay, you've got that. You've got your hexes. All the hexes are fine. Yeah, no problem. They look decent enough to me. I, haven't, I will admit I haven't used any of them though. And then you have them all the way down to, I mean, this is really small. This is a hex, what's this, 1.5. So they go way down, so they are precision. Uh, I mean, th this video could go on and on and on. You've got your nut drivers there. So the nut drivers are nice and deep. I hate the nut drivers where they're not deep enough, useless. So they're all pretty decent. Um, you've got like over the top pentalobe by the, by the looks of it, or con concave pentalobe or whatever the hell they're called. You've got the U drivers, um, is that called a standoff? I think that's known as a standoff, which I used on iPhones and things like that. And there's a nice little bit of oil on here that I can smell still, even though I've used this a few times. And then you've got a little, I quite like this little magnet one. You know when you drop stuff, you can get your precision and go ah, right and get the little screw back. So I like that. And then on this side you have I mean, you've also got, I didn't cover this, but you've got a little extender there. So this is a four mil precision. So that gives you extension there and then it's magnetized again. So you can get a little bit of extra reach on that. And then you also have these longer bits. So if I take one of them out, uh, if I can get it out, it's a bit of a nuisance. I need to use the spudger to get this out. There you go. So this just happens to be an extra long and very small. So you'd use these uh, on like eyeglasses and things like that. Or some laptops, some, some of the tiny screws on laptops are a nightmare. Okay, so I'll probably use that for that. Um, they are saying it's S2. So if, if you remember, there was this, the, the CLV for most of them and then the nut drivers and some of these longer ones are S2. So like shock metal or whatever they call it these days, 1.5 and it's a plus, in other words, a Phillips. So these longer sort of pointier ones are a slightly different material. And then over here you have your nut drivers, you've got your hexes, um, your torques, sorry, and you have some uh, Phillips. Basically, you've got everything slotted, the whole lot. Like I say, I've gone over all the ones you get and I'll show you again, just for people who are thinking, this looks quite interesting. So there's all the bits that you get. And there, so you can pause that if you want. I'll just do that quickly. There, pause that and have a read of that. So you get a hell of a lot, basically. So if we put that back, I'll show you how it all goes back together. So obviously you would put these back in. So you'd put your one back in there, and then your curved one would go back in there, and then you would go like that, like that. And remember there's magnets there and magnets there. And it just comes together. You can also do one side, so you can see right, I only want those and work with them like that if you're limited for space, or you can just have depending on how however you want to do it, it's pretty good. I just wish they had a clasp or something, a little clasp there and there, or some mechanism to see right, that is definitely shut. I mean this is good, but it's a bit gimmicky, you know, having a magnet and it works, and you can take it off completely and stick your screws on and things, okay. But 
I can force that open, you see, even with the magnets there, magnets there, magnets there, I can still force that open. So I think in a bag that will probably open by accident when I don't like that. Boom, nice little set. Okay, so you're yeah, getting 180 in one here. So that's like 144 CRV bits and then the rest are S2. That's pretty good for the price. Um, well, what we'll do is we'll go over some of the pros and cons. Okay, pros, right. You can get this with free delivery for just over 20 bucks. Well, I think it was 24 bucks, so that's American dollars. That's pretty impressive for what you're getting. And you can stick this on your desk and say, do you know what, if I've got any little electronics or any little tiny little screws, it, the head is definitely going to be in here. And the heads are decent, they're not all grinding away. They're decent materials. I think that's pretty good for the price. I think the aesthetic is brilliant. I've never seen anything like this. They've actually thought about it and tried to make something different. I like that. Um, you get loads and loads and loads of bits. You know, it comes in its own case. You're not having to say, right, well, I've got you know, a load of little bits, but nothing to keep them in. I mean, this is an example of where it has quite a nice little case. Um, and these cheap ones, you get a case, but the case itself is part of the niceness of it. I just wish to put maybe some rubber in the little feet here. Uh, for on a desk or things like that. It feels fresh and different I would say um, and especially for this price it's that's remarkable. Now cons, um, I don't understand that button. I don't have a clue what they're talking about with that button. Maybe I'm just an idiot so tell me down below if you realise what it is. I don't know. Um, I feel like this was an afterthought. Uh, it, it's a good afterthought but just put some metal in there so you can get some nice torque without having to worry about knacking it. I think that needs rethinking and only having magnets to keep the case shut I think is a it, it, if you all want to stick this in out of a bag that's a bad choice but if it's just on a desk that's fine I get that I get that and this is a cost effective thing okay so I'm going to give this 8.5 the reason I'm not going to give it higher even though it's such a low price is because there's just things they need, they need to clasp this um, I don't know what's going on with that button. I don't know what the point of it is. Maybe I'm just missing something here. Um, you know, uh, there's just a few little things they need to change and, you know, put some metal insert on there. But other than that, they're doing an exceptional job. I really like it for the price. You know, 25 bucks free delivery. You can, in fact, I saw it on sale yesterday and it was 20 bucks. So really good. I'd never heard of Jack and Me. I'll be looking at more of their stuff. I might send them an email actually and say, listen up Jack and Me, you are right at my street. Is there anything you want me to have a look at? But we'll see. But I just think something different, something nice. And there is a little bit of shake here, but nothing's coming out. Even though if you even if you jump around in this and do like, you know, a rave party, it's not gonna all fall to bits. I really like it. I think something different, something cool. Okay, so 8.5. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm sorry this took so long. If you've got any questions, stick them down below and I will get them as soon as possible. So have a good day. Goodbye.